what is going on everyone hope everybody's doing good out there let's hop into it if you can already see the video looks a little a little different and uh can you can you see can you see what's going on it's a frame rate all right so i'm shooting this at 4k 60. uh usually i would shoot at 4k 30 but i wanted to just to show you guys kind of like the difference of what 4k 60 looks like 4k 30 looks like so see any of my previous videos it's usually shot 4k 30. this one is 4k 60. uh i pretty much always shoot in 4k 30. Um, I know everyone is like, hey, for, it should be 4K, 20, you know, 24 frames per second. If anyone picks up a camera, you watch the tutorial, they're always saying 24 frames, 24 frames a second, no matter what's going on, right? And your camera, I'm sure it has 24, maybe it has 30, and then it goes to 60, or usually it's 24, 60, and then you might have like 120 in there, right? So 24 frames, it gives you that cinematic look that everyone is striving for. We wanna have the cinematic look, blurred background, all that good stuff, right? But then what about 30 frames? So just to even sum up real quick and I'll get into get more into it. 24 and 30, I'll be honest with you, if you were to really put them side by side, you're not gonna really see much of a difference. In, in all actuality, 30 frames may even look slightly better depending on what you're shooting. Because I was strictly 24 frames, I don't care what nobody's talking about. It's 24 frames, 24, 24 FPS, 24 FPS. And I want that look. And I'm like, okay, I don't even know why <laughs> I'm just exclusively shooting at 24. And I put it on 30 and I'm just like, all right, I don't really see the difference, all right? Too, too much, but I'm gaining, I'm gaining an additional six frames per, per second. Let me just leave it on 30. And if you really like look at it and really like study it, and mind you, when I upload videos I'm working on on projects, I'm looking at these videos so many times, just just in I'm in the screen looking crazy. And I'm like, look, I think 30 looks actually better, and I still have the motion blur that we're striving that we want to have and things like that. So what's the issue with 60 frames? Like, why does everybody have an issue with 60 FPS, 60 frames per second. And if you ever like go into like any sort of electronic store and you see the TV and it's like, it has that, that almost soap opera look to it, where it's like, okay, it feels, it looks too real, almost to the point like kind of takes you out of the experience. That's what people always say. It looks like a soap opera. It just kind of takes you out of like the cinematic element, right? And I'm like, okay, I guess I can kind of see that but then the question is, why are some like newer movies like shooting at the high frame rate? Like that movie, um, or that movie like with Will Smith and he's fighting his clone, Gemini Man. I mean, it's kind of old now, but that movie was shot at 120 frames a second, right? And yes, it was a little harsh in certain scenes, but with certain movements like panning, a lot of the action shots, you're able to see, you're able to see the, the footage and the picture better. Right, so it ha it still has its pros to it. So with me, I shoot 60 frames. Like if I know I'm gonna do like a lot of crazy moving around, I'm trying to like really capture something like fast, fast, fast. I'll, a lot of times I will shoot in 60, but it is not, it's not too often. The biggest reason why I shoot in 60 frames per second, or just let's say at a high frame rate, we'll just call it a high frame rate. So basically anything that's above 24, above 30 frames we'll say is considered HFR, high frame rate. The reason I shoot at a high frame rate intentionally is because I know I'm gonna slow down this particular shot, right? So if I know, okay, I'm gonna do a panning motion, but I know right when I start to pan, I wanna slow it down ever so slightly, I'll shoot it at 60, as opposed to shooting it at 24, shooting it at 30, okay, then having to reshoot it, to shoot it in, in a higher frame rate, and then slow it down. If I know this shot's gonna be more of a slow down shot, I wanna make it more dramatic, or I'm trying to capture a certain feel which is gonna require it to be slower, then yeah, I'll just go ahead and set it to 60, you know, and not 120. If I know I just want crazy slow-mo, all of that good stuff, I wanna speed ramp it, then I'll set it to like 120. But for me, I utilize 60 when I wanna slow it down a little bit more, or if I really wanna capture something like, like an action shot, or something that just has like a lot of movement, that if I was to shoot it at 30, you'll see it, but I really want you to kind of like grasp it and really like be able to see the details in it. And then at the end of the day, 
I still like the high frame rate look, to be honest with you. I know people are like against it and they have their issues with it. I honestly like the way the high frame rate image looks a lot of times. Like I know people are against it. Like for this image, for example, for this talking head kind of piece that we're doing, and I'm just sitting here just talking to you guys, I'm okay with, with 60. I'm completely okay with 60. Now if I'm having B-roll, I'm doing other things, then yes, I'll bring it down to 30. But at the end of the day, it really just depends on what are you shooting you know like what are you actually working on like what's the what's the idea what's the narrative you know i was guilty of always all right they say 24 i guess i shoot 24. all right done i wasn't asking questions but i'm like wait a minute why do i have these settings that even like when i on on the a7s3 i'm like okay let me let me get like the the, the best possible image sometimes out of this camera let me put on 60 frames per second. You know, if worse comes to worse, in post, you can still, there's still editing techniques that you can actually still export it at like 30 frames per second. You can still reduce the frame rates, the frame rate down to 30 frames if you choose to. But really and truly, it's really just depending on what you want to do, what you want to shoot. More than likely, you'll probably just shoot at 30 frames. Some of you will still shoot at 24. But for the most part, shooting at 30 is completely okay. What you're gonna run to if you start trying to shoot at high frame rates, number one, the storage is gonna be insane. The space is gonna be ridiculous. Like, I don't know, I'll show how many gigs this actual video is, I'll put it somewhere in here and show you how many gigs this little, little under 10 minute video actually takes up when you shoot at 4K 60. So right off the bat, it's gonna be a ton of space that's gonna take up, obviously double what you would normally shoot if you're doing 4K 30. The amount of light, is gonna be reduced. So if you're in like a low light situation, chances are if you're shooting at 4K 60, you're gonna have a real, real, real dark image. So that's why it's always great. If you're in a low light situation, 24, 30 frames per second, you can allow way more light in and you can still have a good image. And also, I think 30 still does look good in a lot of ways. You know, it's pros and cons, but I'll still kind of lean more towards 30 frames per second when I'm doing most or, yeah, pretty much most or all of my content. I would say the the main camera, the main focus would be 30 frames per second and then B-roll and things like that. Probably shoot at 60, slow it down to about 50%, or actually, or 75% and things like that and still get the image. So I still utilize all the frame rates to sum it up, but at the end of the day, I think 30 frames is the way to go. 24 it's still yes you get the motion but it looks great but to reiterate certain certain shots 24 just looks almost too blurry you know it's just it's too motion blurry right 30 frames just gives you just a little bit more a little bit more frame rates in in the shot and it just has just a little bit more cleaner look to it and then 60 frames i mean you can already see like the difference in this shot like you can see it has a better image because obviously it's double the frame rate but it doesn't actually mean that's the the best frame rate to use for what you're shooting, right? So it could, yes, it, it looks smooth and there's you know not much motion blur, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the right uh, shot or the right setting that you should have for your shot. So at the end of the day, it's still gonna come down to what you're doing, what you wanna shoot, but for everything for me, it's 4K 30 and then probably a year or however long we're gonna be talking about 5k 30 a year probably less less than a year in a couple months we're gonna start talking about 5k 30 and that's gonna become a standard we're gonna just keep going up and up but at the end of the day don't let how many frame rates do i need to shoot it high frame rate low frame get out there and shoot get out there and get your content out get your story out get whatever it is that you are trying to create out mess up make the mistakes and continue to learn that's the key point with all of this learn along the way as i'm learning still learning i share with you guys i made a ton of mistakes and i'm still going to continue to learn and make little mistakes here and there but that's where you get the lesson now it's a problem if you keep making these mistakes and you're not correcting you're not fixing it then, then we have a problem so let me get out of here let's see how many gigs this video is and I will be up tonight. Another video is on the way. If you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button. Go hit the like button. All that good stuff. 
drop a comment. We're growing this thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.